Uh, we have this uh, Chrysler Pacifica 2004 with a two coats P0032 and P0403. As you can read, uh, the circuit the circuit is too high. Oh. In other words, um, you're missing something here. Uh, this is a common problem on so uh, this Chrysler Pacifica 3.5. They have an issue with the wire, which is called ground wire, and it's located under the battery. I'll show you in a minute. It's located under the battery. Um, they say it gets a lot of corrosion. Most of the time, in this case, I found that it was broke. It was uh, separated from the, from the end. I want you to, to follow me on this one. This is simple, easy to repair. For all those viewers that have this, uh, this kind of problem or this kind of codes, uh, you gotta find the, the ground. It's called G100 or G100 ground. It's located, like say, on the bottom of the battery. And uh, that's the ground that supports these two sensors and, and more devices, more electronic devices or more electronic sensors or electrical sensors. And that uh, that is a problem. So when you fix them, like I did, I took the battery out, which is right over there. I put on the charger anyway, just to make, it, make sure you got a full charge. And hopefully the codes don't come back. If the codes come back, we have to do something else. But uh, technically that's that's what it is. Uh, in other words, when it says high circuit, that means that the electrical, the electrical system, or electrical circuit has not been uh, completed. It's missing something, in this case it's missing the ground. I check on the diagram. There's a diagram for this one. You can do on your own repair manual. It should be there. You can go to the internet. Uh, in this case, I found it uh, in a company like BB Industries, and it shows you the location of it. And um, if you see it and it's damaged, just repair it. So. As you can see, my friends, I'm, I'm here on the frame on the left side of the the Pacifica, as you can see, this is the wire. Let's see, right there, just came off. It's right here. This is the end. It's supposed to be here. It's not there anymore. Like I say, it's it's been disconnected for whatever reason. So we have to take the ball out, and I mean the nut out. Make sure there is no corrosion. If it is, just clean it up and then put it back at, the, at this end. I might get a new end depending on what it looks like. I might use the same one, but um, it's very important that you use a sandpaper, okay? Or some something to clean it up. Uh, so, this is it, amigos. Uh, at the end, I wanna put the results of what happened, but uh, right now I gotta do the, the repair in, a, in the best way I can. Crank it up, if the light is not there anymore, the checking light is not there anymore. And that means it's almost fixed it because uh, every time I crank it up, the light was there. Even if you raise it, crank it up, light was there. So, so that was a big issue. Okay, my friends, we we all done with this uh, this project. Uh, as you can see, I put the scanner on it. It says that no code is found right here for the the RPMs are the light's supposed to be here. It's not there no more. 
thing came back. I did a road test and everything's gonna be okay. Uh, I'll show you in, in a minute what else do we have to do in order to pass the inspection. But so far the light hasn't come back. That's a pretty good indication that uh, everything has been or is going to be okay. And um, if you do a road test, just remember, follow, follow the rules on the roads. Uh, if you are not sure that you can do that, the best thing for you as a DIY mechanic or DIY customer, make sure just, uh, well, in this case, we disconnected the battery. But in other cases, just people do the, the, the battery cable, the negative battery cable. I don't recommend it, but some people do it. They disconnect it for two or three minutes, connect it back, and they start driving it like normal, like you go to the shopping center or go shopping or go to see your friends, drive it for a few days, or if you go to work back and forth for a few days and the light doesn't come back, that means your car is supposed to be ready for inspection. And the light will come back but the, if there is a still a problem into the system, like a, I would say sensor, vacuum leak, broken hose, something. Right now, I want to show you after after the road test uh, what is what it says over here on my scanner if it's ready for inspection or not. Like right here it says EGR, a VBT system monitor. Okay, you scroll down or up, and you'll see oxygen sensor. Okay, uh, NA means not uh, not applicable. It doesn't have this uh, system and the software. The EVAP incomplete. I see the races, okay, 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 okay. That tells me something that uh, this car is ready to get inspected. And uh, I'm gonna take it to the inspection and fix the, the whole thing, the whole project, including the inspection. And like I say, if you like my videos and you enjoy it, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you see my channel, like I say it's gonna be English and Spanish. Um, but I want to try to help you or help everybody just to make sure that they get the best product that they could get like video tutorials so thank you and subscribe and see you next time